So the healthy cuisine leads us to extraordinary food done here by Chef Isaac Esparza. How are yes, you, my friend? I'm fine. Are you? Uh, well, you know, I'm really looking forward to tasting some of this cuisine here at San Lee, yes. uh, which the talk around town is that you got it going on here with some great handcrafted specialty healthy food. Yes. And today I understand we're going to do your signature dish, which is a tuna, correct? Tuna. Okay, with the furikake and white quinoa, and I paint the quinoa with a red rot. And I make the mustard sauce with uh, coconut milk. Okay? Oh, nice. So the mustard sauce uh, is, is made with the coconut milk. Yeah. Uh, and, and this is, is this fresh beets? Yeah, it's red rot juice. Oh, it's fresh. Oh, okay, okay. so fresh juice. Sí. Wow, very nice. Okay. All right, so what do we have to do to get started here? Okay, I'm starting with the uh, organic vegetables brochette. Right. And I can take an uh, apple. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a Granny Smith uh, apple. On, uh, Mushrooms. Mushroom. And onion. Put the... Excellent. So it's, so it's a mixture, it's like a yes, brochette of vegetables. Yes, it's a mix of vegetables, okay? Excellent. You can try it. Yeah, sure, one. absolutely. Okay. Excellent. And finish and take the shiitake, mushroom shiitake. Okay. Put uh, organic vegetables in a mix of organic so soy sauce right. and mirin. Oh, so soy sauce and mirin. Yes. Okay. Vamos a bañar un poquito. And the mirror will help it give it a nice flavor this too. This is a sweet sesame. Mm. Can't beat that. Can't beat okay. that with a stick. I make the sauce, okay? Okay, sure. And take the mustard. Right. Okay. And coconut and milk? Put, yes, okay. right here. Okay. I put the mustard in the okay. pan. And add the coconut milk. Okay. Let me add it. Yes. Good. Good. That's looking good. Yes. It smells good Very too. Nice. So. Wow. Taste it. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Very good. And take the. Tuna. Now we go back to the tuna, yes. right? This is a mix of sesame. Seeds and uh, red pepper with a uh, skin orange. Okay. Oh, very nice. Mix and cover the tuna. So okay. uh, black and white sesame seeds. Yes. Um, skin of the orange. Very nice. Okay. You gonna try? Sure, absolutely. Yes. All right. I love sesame seeds and tuna. Yes, it's very, very, very good. Delicious. Absolutely. And this is a good quality uh, grade here of, of, uh, of tuna. Sushi grade, right? Yes. Ahi. Okay. Good. And then we cook it, the tuna. And bring it over there. Yes. Okay, okay. great. Let's go. Now, is that olive, olive oil, oil in there? Olive okay. oil. Okay. Right. And put the tuna. Excellent. Perfect. Now, my man, you know how to yes. sear because you didn't put a lot of oil down okay. there. Otherwise, it would have been popping in our face. It's a good deal. Now, how do you like the, the tuna? Mid-rare? Uh, mid, mid, yes. Medium Only a little bit of time Just a little bit of time yes, on yes, there. All right. And now we're going to get the, uh, the vegetables that we've actually marinated here with the soy sauce and the marin. Okay, and take the organic vegetables. And the key is really to getting a really hot griddle. Looking good, looking good. Looking good, then. Mm. Smells really delicious. delicious, yeah. Okay. And I think the combination of, of the sesame seeds on the tuna are going to go perfect. Now, would you say this is the most popular dish in, the, in this restaurant? Yes, it's the most popular. Most popular yes, right? it's the best. And it's a new dish and it's very, very popular. Interesting. Yes. All 
And you it's like fine. To, you like okay. to use olive oil on this? Yes, it's a very very fine. And, it, and, and it also the, the the advantage of using the griddle is you can get an even cook time on it. I can everything. see the uh, red. You can see the red. That's okay, good. That's, the that's what you want. Now, what about okay. the vegetables there? The vegetables. This array. Now, so the so the trick of the bruschetta really is just to leave the vegetables on one side to get seared. Yes. Yes, and they're fully cooked. Finally cooked, and, and you like to use the apple, which is interesting because you put an apple in there. Apple and the mushrooms and the it's onions and the sweetness this, flavor yes. throughout. That's interesting. It's a different uh, mixture of flavors. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, what about the quinoa here? Yes, I put the quinoa mm -hmm. on the pan and beet juice. We'll put a little beet juice in there. Okay. It's ready. Good. Okay. And finish and take the sauce. And take the, the quinoa and finish. All right, so just to, just to right. recap on what we have here, Chef. So what we have is the pan-seared tuna, uh, which was delicately seasoned with uh, black and white sesame seeds, uh, some other herbs and flavors, and we actually seared them on the griddle top to get this even sear on both sides, right? Yes. And then we came over here, and the chef made the signature vegetable dish here, which is brilliant. Uh, where he put a kebab of vegetables on, uh, and I like the touch of the apple here, which would give it a sweet texture. Um, then we made our sauce with mustard yes. and coconut. And coconut milk. Which is yes. coconut milk, which has given it a nice thick texture. And we have some quinoa here, which um, really another unique thing that the chef did creative was to add the beet juice in there as well. So uh, now I guess we're going to plate it up? Yes, I okay. can plate. Take the plate and... Take the tuna, okay? It's here. Perfect. I can cut tuna. Mm. Looking very, very nice. Very nice. Okay? Very nice. Mm. So the chef is cutting the tuna on a bias now. And as you can see, this the sesame seeds are totally adhered to the fish. So they're not going anywhere. That's that's the sign of a real proper sear. Great okay. job. Very, very good. Okay, I take the red quinoa. Wow, that looks fabulous there with that red bee color. Wow. I'll take the mustard sauce. Right. Okay. Mm, looking good. You know, mustard seeds go perfect with tuna as well. Yes, Perfectly complement. it's very, very complement the flavors. Yeah, okay? definitely, I agree. And take the tuna. Put here. Mm. And finish with the organic vegetable sick. Very nice, okay. very nice. So here you have it, the chef's signature tuna dish. Chef, thank you for having me uh, here. Thank you for you. Thank you, but we're not finished yet. We're gonna head back over to the table. I'm gonna taste some other dishes and the chef is gonna make his signature drink. So don't go anywhere. So this is a, a signature drink here at San Lin and it's called Basilic Martini. First, we add just a little bit of sake in the shot glass. Then it goes into our mixing cup. And if you're feeling special, have another glass for a friend. Next, we're gonna add harabi, which is a sweetened sugar. Next, the chef adds his signature vodka into the mix as well. Now, ice cubes need to be put in both cups to shake the drink to really incorporate all the flavor and ingredients. And last, we add a little bit of mint liqueur. Now, when all the flavors are blended together, we pour them right into the martini glass. Garnish with a little starfish, and you'll get the basilic martini that Sen Lee is known for. Cheers.
You know, here at San Lane, they have some signature sake, homemade sake, right, Chef? Yes. And what do we have? I have the sake of the Manila. I have the sake on ginger and plum sauce. Okay. Right. And have the sake um, cinnamon. Cinnamon sake. Now that's okay. the first. And lychee sake. And lychee sake. And okay. these are all served uh, in these yes. small glasses here that are, that accompany the meal. They're very strong. <laughs> They're very strong, yes. right? You're gonna wheel people out of this place, right? <laughs> Yes, to you, my friend. Fabulous cuisine, wonderful restaurant. Thank you very much. Ooh, wow. Nice cinnamon flavor. Very good. So ready for finish the dinner. Yeah, which yeah. I can't wait, because coming up next, we have all of our dishes that the chef prepared, and we're going to feast on this table. So don't go anywhere. Taste this. So now we get to the part uh, that I always like, which is eating. Now, chef, um, Let's try something uh, first. This is your beef cube, right? Yes. And this outside of this is rice? Yes, and uh, with a chutney kiwi. Wow, very good. Let's try this. Yes. Oh, wow. It's very, very aromatic. That is very good. And what was the name of that? It's Mofan Guantan. I got to remember that if I come back <laughs> later tonight. That's the one. That is definitely a winner. Now it's this a one, wonton with chicken and green curry. Yeah, what kinds? Of, what, what kind of sauce? It's a you got sauce there? and reduction and red wine with habanero and with ginger root. Another winner. So you take the port wine, you reduce it. Yes. Down to a syrup. Yes. And you get that sweet taste. And there's a little heat. There's a little hot. No, really not. In, it's very, very hot. Very little. Yeah. Very little. Yes. Very little bit. That's excellent. It's a red uh rice pepper, right. filled with a uh, chicken, and marinating and citrus with uh, vegetables. And this sauce and here? Sweet and sour sauce. A regular sweet, sweet and, and sour, sour sauce. sauce. Very good. Very good. And then last. Is the masutado maguro. Yeah, we have our tuna. I make the tuna. <laughs> okay. The signature tuna dish. Combined uh, with a sauce with mustard and tuna. Taste it. And try it. You want to try it uh, with quinoa and different vegetables. Mm. I love that sauce. The vegetables uh, take it a uh, different textures and. Wow. This group has uh, different flavors. Chef, how about a toast? Your cuisine is fabulous. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me here to settle in. Well, that's going to conclude our healthy cooking show for today. Thank you for watching this fun-filled episode of Taste This TV. I'm your host, Chef Joe Simonero. Remember, there are no rules in cooking. Taste this.